Um, so this is a promise which is very different than the promise of religion, which is, has a membership and all of that, and uh, proscribed uh, behaviors, etc. The Chinese uh, traditional sciences are a discovery, wisdom discovery process, um, not looking for laws and regulations and platitudes and good feng shui, essence. all of that's quite absurd. What we want to do is find out the appropriateness of our situation from time to time. So we look at buildings, we look at landscapes, we look at rooms, but uh, we look at them as sort of alive in time, and they provide qi. They provide a kind of energy that if we participate, um, we can get a little wisdom. If we fight it constantly, or we're constantly looking for the problems to destroy the problems, for instance, um, this is a very bad motive, so we never really get a deep understanding. So, why should people study this? I mean, um, I know you've said a lot of that yeah. in what you've said, but... Well, it, an appetite for wisdom is best. Um. Uh, because maybe it takes us a while to, to recognize we have this appetite for wisdom. You know? Modern life, it seems like uh, all the indicators are we should have an appetite for stuff. Um, and when you get you know, disillusioned by that, uh, it's hard to say when that will happen. Maybe it takes, you know, dumb kids and a divorce <laughs> so to wake up your appetite. Or maybe it's uh, something that makes you drop out of college. But you get uh, disappointed, I think naturally disappointed by this image of prosperity and materialism. Um, and we think that's some kind of a natural appetite in modern life. But actually, it's very artificial appetite. So it gets defeated at some point by just disappointment. Um, and it's possible that in that disappointment, something very good comes up, which would be an appetite for wisdom. Um, but it's not like a, a college course. It's, it's a lifelong thing. But the Chinese sciences are very good at giving you a mechanism for study that has an association not just with knowledge but also with wisdom.